Rafe, you hate prosthetics and things, don't you? I don't love them, no. Mm. But don't you, like, you choose jobs to avoid them? After Voldemort, I did. I have, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because how much of that is prosthetics on Voldemort? Actually, to be honest, on Voldemort, not so much. A lot of painting and... Oi, oi, oi. Very little, actually. Teeth, the eyes... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, more or less. That's I see what you mean. Look, yeah. Look, 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 look. The yeah, they, they shave the beard off, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good look. <laughs> but, but wasn't there a moment when you kind of knew the Voldemort look was working when you were on set? I knew you met her. Yeah, I passed by the script supervisor, had a little uh, boy who was on set. I mean, His son, maybe? Her, her, her son, son. Okay. I think, for five years old. <laughs> anyway, I passed by this little child. I just looked at this boy. <gasps> he just burst into tears. Oh. <laughs> The costume, the, the costume must have helped as well, because it's quite frightening. The costumes actually wasn't that. It was just a lot of flowing, silky stuff that I kept tripping over. <laughs> and I had these tights on underneath. And they were like ladies' tights. And they ripped in the middle. <laughs> Can I just say? <laughs> what happened was that the tights used to work their way down, so the, gus the gusset of the tight <laughs> was sort of around my knees. So I couldn't walk as elegantly I as I would like as Voldemort. <laughs> So eventually then I said to the dresser, Could, he's called Neil, he's very sweet. He was always had his head up my skirt, trying to adjust things. <laughs> uh, and I said, Could, would he mind cutting them off so I had a garter belt? <laughs> so for most of Harry Potter, underneath the robes, I have very nice garter belt. <laughs>